Recently, I was organizing with a client and we were in her basement. We were sorting and clearing space in um, this closet. And I came across this framed cross-stitch angel and it was just leaning up against the wall. And I said, oh, what is this? And she said, oh, my mom made that. It's great. Are you gonna use it? I said, probably not. I don't know where I'd put it. And I agreed with her, at least in my head. It did not go with anything in her house. So I put it to the side. Well, fast forward a couple hours and we were done working for the day. So I started to move the stuff that was um, donatable up to the car to take it to be donated. And she said, wait, you can't take that. You can't take that angel, that was my mom's. And I, said, I was a little surprised, I was actually a little stunned because I thought that we were under the same conclusion that she never intended to use it and she didn't really like it. So I said, why can't we get rid of this again? And she said, well, my mom made it. I said, okay, but you don't plan to use it. And she said, yeah, but she made it with her hands. And a little abruptly, I said, so what? She's made a ton of stuff with her hands. What makes this even more special? She said, well, she's going to be so mad at me if I get rid of this. Well, the truth started to come out. So her mom had decided that she didn't want the cross-stitch angel anymore, so she gave it to her daughter and either implied or specifically stated that she didn't want it to ever leave her possession, that it was just this very special piece and she was giving it to her daughter. So one thing that we have to be really careful of when we are shifting our belongings onto other people, we may or may not be also shifting this big responsibility that we or them have to keep the thing. And I want you to repeat after me. This is a nice mantra. A gift is not a life sentence. Just because someone gave you something does not mean that you have to keep it forever. So this is what I recommended for that client. I said, I want you to take a picture of this and I want you to send a text to your mom and say, hey mom, I'm cleaning out the basement and um, I found this cross stitch. I know you gave it to me a couple years ago. I just haven't had the right place for it and we're redecorating and renovating and I just don't think that I'm gonna have any room for it. Before I donated it, I wanted to ask you if you wanted it back and then stop. I encouraged her to be in a bit of an uncomfortable place to allow her mother to either say, one, I love it, and it's super special to me, and I'd like it back, or two, um, it really doesn't mean that much to me, so I don't mind if you get rid of it, or three, there could have been a little bit of back and forth as to um, why that felt disrespectful to her mother, that she was asking or wanting to donate it, but we can't hold on to things for the fear that we may hurt someone else's feelings. And I also wanna encourage you to notice that if you're keeping things for your own kids, this is also the same thing. You are holding on to stuff in hopes that they're going to want it or love it or use it or whatever. So pay attention to that too. Don't shift responsibilities. If it's something that you want, use it and love it now. 